Elia is mentioned many times by Oberon in his conversations with various members of House Lannister. It is clear that Oberon loved his older sister very much. When speaking to Tyrion, Oberon expresses apparent anger that, beautiful, noble Rhaegar Targaryen left her for another woman, despite Elia's love and loyalty for Rhaegar. Oberon tells Cersei that his fifth daughter is named for her, and that he finds it difficult to interact with her as a result. After the Purple Wedding, Tywin approaches Oberon to determine if he had a hand in it, considering his hatred for House Lannister. Oberon confirms that he blames Tywin for the deaths of Elia and her children, which Tywin cryptically suggests was all the Mountain's doing. He offers Oberon an opportunity to confront the Mountain privately on the condition that he first preside as the third judge at Tyrion's court trial for Joffrey's murder, which Oberon agrees to do. However, when Tyrion later demands a trial by combat, Oberon volunteers to be Tyrion's champion after learning that the Mountain will be fighting for the crown, hoping he will finally have vengeance for rape and murder of his sister. As the two champions commence battle at the trial, Oberon identifies himself to the Mountain as the brother of Elia and reminds his opponent of the crime he committed against House Martell, saying, You raped my sister, you murdered her, you killed her children. Despite wearing light armor and drinking before their fight, Oberon initially gains the upper hand and proceeds to slowly cut down the mountain all the while shouting in an ever louder voice, You raped her. You murdered her. You killed her children. Thinking his opponent to be fully incapacitated, Oberon again demands the mountain confess his crime and reveal who gave him the order, pointing accusingly at Tywin. However, in his hubris Oberon is unexpectedly caught off guard when the mountain suddenly trips him up. Berserk with fury at nearly being killed by his opponent, the mountain pins Oberon to the ground and proceeds to gouge out his eyeballs, making him scream in agony, as he roars for all to hear, Elia Martell. I killed her children. Then I raped her. Then I smashed her head. In like this. He then crushes Oberon's skull, effectively confirming the long-standing rumor of arguably his most infamous war crime. 